Welcome to Material Chef, preparing the most influential materials for your delectation. We rely on this material during everyday tasks. It is an essential for fish and chips, baking cupcakes and steaming delicious duck-filled dumplings. The plethora of uses that paper offers is completely fabulous. Paper is used to make shopping bags, grease-proof paper. It can hold many recipes in the form of a cookery book. It is also formed into cups, noses, and the humble egg box. Not to mention luxuriously soft toilet paper. Paper is made up of cellulose fibres. Cellulose makes up the tough cell walls in all plants, and in many of these, such as cotton, linseed or trees, it forms tough fibres. The most common source of these fibres for paper is from wood, but they are very strongly held together. So we remove the luscious leaves and strip the bark from the stem, then bash the branches against a solid surface to separate the fibres. Using a food processor, we can mix these fibres with those from other common sources, such as recycled newspaper. Add water to help these fibres break apart. This wood pulp has been processed for paper making. First of all, we take stock pulp and we blend it down to refine it. Then we add it to more water. We can further refine the mixture with a whizzer and take the resulting half stuff and further dilute it in our final stock solution to 5% fibre, 95% water. Then we take our paper mould and pull out create our sheet of water, constant agitation to align the fibres so that it creates a better piece of paper. We need to suck water out of it, which we can do with a vacuum. Then we need to mechanically squeeze the water out, and to do that we need to transfer it from the mould onto a couching sheet. From here we can put a sheet on the top so that we can put it into the press and mechanically squeeze water out. And here's the finished piece of paper for you to have a, a closer look. As it dries, the surface tension of the water pulls the fibres so close together that they can start to bond together, forming a strong, rigid structure. This paper is made of pure cellulose fibres and has a very rough texture and is therefore difficult to write on. But if you set fire to some, it will be almost entirely consumed as burning cellulose just produces carbon dioxide and water vapour. Papers made for writing or good quality printing have various clays and chalk added to smooth the surface, so when you burn them, they leave far more ash behind. Tune in next week to satisfy your insatiable appetite for knowledge and dig into what makes the materials we use just so special. With the material chef, 
brought to you by the Naked Scientists.